Hey everybody, Greg Gray here with Outdoor Solutions Long Range Shooting Schools and we are bringing you all another Tacticam tip. Super simple one today. Uh, one of the questions that we get asked a lot in our long range shooting schools is about the placement of your left hand. Kind of like Ron Jeremy, you know, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> so what most people do and how most of us are taught whenever we um, start shooting is grab up here on the forestock and you hang on, especially obviously in a, uh, a freestanding position, freehand position, you have to, you have no other choice. But when you're sitting at a bench, uh, if you're sitting out in the field, if you're using a tripod, there is a very specific technique that we use uh, with our left hand. The reason for it, the reason instead of gripping up here and gripping back here is uh, twofold, maybe even threefold. Instead of grabbing the forestock up here, the more that you grab the gun, the more that you are actually touching it, the more you're putting into it, the more mistakes that you can make. So that is one reason. The other reason that I'm going to show you, uh, actually I've got the uh, Tacticam FTS set up on here. And so you'll actually be able to see through the scope what I'm seeing. And what we teach our clients to do is with the left hand, you see we've got a, uh, a rear bag here, is that instead of reaching up here whenever you get down the gun, you're gripping this bag. Um, the bag that I've got here is one that probably everybody has seen. It's a standard um, Caldwell bag that you rest your, your gun in. It's somewhat um, pliable and you can make changes with it. Uh, another one, this is one that I use, uh, especially out in the field. Um, I use it some here on the bench as well, but it is a lot more pliable. I can do a lot more with it. I can roll it up and make it really tight. I can flatten it up and I can really get the buttstock down in it and really work it down, uh, down in. So uh, what I wanted to show you, we'll start with this one. Uh, you can do it with both, but what we do is whenever you get down, I got too much stuff on here. Whenever you get down on the rifle, Let's go ahead and turn the FTS on and start recording. Actually, I have to do it through here. I have it Bluetooth to my phone. All right, so we are recording now. So you're able to see what I can see. So there you can see I have it on target. So you can look at my cross here. So natural point of aim, it's going up. So if you watch, as I start to squeeze this bag and I put more pressure on it, what happens? It brings my muzzle down. So what it allows me to do is really just fine tune my shot. So I'm really squeezing on it right now. Uh, if I want to come up to center on that center diamond, I just relax the pressure. I'm not putting as much pressure on it. So if I quit talking here, now I can settle it right in on that center diamond and I can keep my crosshairs really steady. And the cool thing about using these bags, I can do it really quick and I'm not putting near as much into the gun I've just got my standard grip uh, right here on the wrist of the rifle and it, actually we have another video that you guys can check out on proper grip and uh, proper hand placement how to line the thumb up thumb up it's a whole, whole different video uh, but as far as using this bag I can use it here on a bench and hold wherever I want to move it to. So they'll just go out here. There's a pig out here somewhere. So there's a pig. I won't get lined up on that pig. Now let's just say I'm resting on a tripod instead of the bench here. See how quick I was able to get on that? The natural point of aim this rifle is wanting to go up because I have it on that front rest. But all I'm doing is squeezing this bag and now I'm right on the vitals of that pig. So let's we go out even a little bit further. So there's a coyote out there which actually we'll probably see some coyotes here in just a little bit if I've set up my Fox Pro. But you can see how quick it allows you. So if I just let it rest, and I can just grab it real quick and I can get on my target. So I can do the same thing off of a tripod. Let's see what else we got out here. There's a deer, it's the same thing. All I'm doing is just squeezing or relaxing my grip a little bit on that rear bag. And I can hold it right on the vitals. It's going out there to about 600 yards. Same thing, see how quick you can get on something? And you can hold it relatively steady. Uh, again, I've got the FTS going here so y'all can see what I'm seeing. 
Uh, optic that we're using here is a Zeiss Conquest V4. These are actually the ones that we use in our long range shooting schools. And it has their uh, ZBI uh, reticle in it, which is basically a Christmas tree. Uh, as you're gonna see here in just a second, uh, it allows you to acquire uh, your target and uh, your subtension really quick with the way that they have it set up. So we're just gonna go out to 300 yards. And the reason I chose 300, because I know just right off the top of my head, that 300 yards uh, with my 6.5 Creedmoor that I need to hold for four minutes. So instead of dialing up here, uh, we'll just use the reticle. So if you look on there, you can see where there's a five uh, down. So obviously the next mark above that is gonna be four. So you can see here, let's just start on this target. And there's my that hash mark that I'm holding right in the center. That's four minutes. Let's send one. Boom, hit, so let's move on to a uh, different target in the same spot. So you can see him moving around, but look how quick, just by squeezing this bag, that I can get on target. Boom, so we got just a little bit of wind there, left to right. Here, and we'll just go to a different one. Right here, let's just go to this pig real quick, see if I can find it, hold my elevation that I need. I'm just going to hold a little bit high. Boom. Dead pig. Again, so this will work on, like I said, you can do it on a tripod. You can do it whenever you're prone. If you're shooting off of your backpack, I almost always uh, have one of these with me. And I actually just attach it to uh, my backpack just to make a quick adjustment. And it makes life a whole lot easier uh, whenever I want to get steady on a target. really doesn't matter whatever the distance is. A lot of other uses for these bags as well that we'll do in a different video. You can see I've got one of the bigger ones here. Uh, I'll actually use it as a front rest in, in uh, place of a bipod uh, to attach to my rifle. I can lighten the load a little bit and not have my rifle be near as heavy. Um, but anyway, if you don't use one of these rear bags, give them a try. These particular ones are uh, Phoenix shooting bags. We actually have them on our website uh, as well with the Outdoor Solutions logo. If you don't want the OS logo, you can get them straight from uh, Phoenix shooting bags. That's probably what their website is. Uh, and you can check them out as well. So anyway, that is a quick Tacticam tip for you guys. We'll see you all on the next video.